All right, so this video I'm going to show you how to find the standard deviation of a frequency distribution or group distribution. So uh, here's the formulas for the sample standard deviation. Okay, and this this is the formula, and this formula is the one we use for to compute the values. This is the computational formula. Okay, it's just easier to use this one than it is this one. So the standard deviation is n times the sum of f times x squared minus the sum of f times x and then all of that squared over n times n minus 1. And n is the sum of the f values. Okay. Now, in, in some of the books, this computational formula, it may look different than this one. Okay. I've seen different formulas in different books, but they will all give you the same result. Okay. Uh, the main thing is just understanding, you know, what does the sum of f times x squared mean? What does the sum of f times x and then all of that squared, what does that mean? Okay, n, we, you got to know what n is. And I'm going to explain to you the difference between this term and this term while we're working the example. All right, so let's, let's come over here and look at our example. And I just I already got the formula written here so we can... Uh, look at it a little better. All right, so now let's uh, let's fill this table out and see what we get. Well, let's see what we need first. Okay, so we need the sum of f times x. We need the sum of f times x squared. So you can see the f values, I have those already. That's my frequencies, f. Okay. That's each of my frequencies. The x, that's the midpoint of your intervals here. Okay, So x is the midpoint of 50 and 69, and then the next x would be the midpoint of 70 and 89. I'm going to show you how to find the midpoint. I'm going to write it out for the first one. So to find the midpoint, all you do is take the lower and upper limit add them together and divide by 2. And for this that would give us 59.5. So this would be, we'll make this our x column. This is the midpoint. Okay, And so the midpoint for this interval is 59.5. And then the next one the midpoint for 70 to 89, we just add 70 plus 89, divide that by 2, that is 79.5, and we'll do that the rest of the way down, and we would get 99.5, 119.5, and 139.5. Okay. All right, so you can see I already have a table, but I'm, I don't have enough columns here, so I'm going to have to kind of sketch put some extra columns in here so I'll do it like that all right so that's X okay now well you can see I also need an X squared column okay I need an X squared column so let's look at an X squared column okay so what that is is I'm gonna take each one of these values and I'm gonna square them so I get 59 squared is 3540.25. And then I'm going to square the 79.5. That is 6320.25. And then I square the 99.5. That's 99. 0, 0, 0.25 and then I square the 119.5 that's going to be 1428.0.3 and then I square the 139.5 which is 19460.3 okay so there's my x squared column now I need a column for f times x, okay, and I, and then I'm going to need a column for f times x squared, okay. So let's make these columns, and then I'll explain to you the difference in the two, 
Okay, so here we have uh, the F times X column. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to do F times X. Okay, 2 times 59.5, 33 times 79.5. That's what the F times X column means. Okay, all right. So when I do 2 times 59.5, that gives me 119. And then 33 times 79.5, that is 2623.5. And then we've got 35 times 99.5 is 3482.5. And then 7 times 119.5 is 836.5. And then 1 times 139.5 is 139.5. Okay. And then my last column, I need an F. I need an F times X squared column. So that means I'm going to multiply the frequency times the x squared column. Okay. All right. So 2 times this number, 3540.25, that is going to give me 7080.5 and then 33 times this number, that will give me 2 2085.68 and then 35 times this number that's going to give me 34650.9 okay. and then this number 7 times this number that is going to give me uh, nine 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 six one point eight, and I I know that these are point threes. They should be point two fives. Uh, I just noticed that, but I mean I got these numbers in Excel so I could go through them quicker, and it looks like Excel rounded them to one decimal place. So, but you know that's fine. Okay, as long as we're understanding the method. And then I've got this number times this number, which that's going to be 19460.3. Okay. All right. Now, let's. Okay. And I tell you what I'll do is let me go ahead and. Let me go ahead and fix these rounding, these rounded values. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. So I've got all this fixed. I had to add. I didn't add the 0.75 here. So. Uh, all right. So. Here's the table filled out. Now look what we need. We need the sum of f times x squared. And we need the sum of f times x squared. So let's explain the difference. Well, this f times x squared, this sum, that's the sum of this last column. Okay. The sum of f times x squared, well, the sum of f times x, that's this column, the sum of this column, and then we square that number. Okay, and n is the sum of the frequencies. So let's go ahead and get these values. So n, that's the sum of the frequencies, and that is 78. Okay, then I need the sum of f times x. That's the sum of this column. So that's 7,201 when we add those up. 
and then I need the sum of f times x squared. And so I sum that up. That is 6, 8, 1, 5, 7, 9, point 0.5. And it looks like I got everything in the, on the screen. All right. So now all we do is we plug these values into the formula. So this is going to equal okay, n, which is 78, okay, times the sum of f times x squared, which that's this number, 681579.5, minus the sum of f times x squared, so the sum of f times x is 7201, and then we square it over n, which is 78, times n minus 1. And then to punch this into our calculator, well, what I would do is I would just put in the numerator. So that's going to be 78 times 681579.5 minus 7201 squared. And that gives me 1308. 800 over and then 78 times 78 minus 1 that gives me 6006 and then it would be the square root of that okay so let's see 1308800 divided by 6006 and then I do the square root of that and so my standard deviation is 14, and I'll round to two decimal places. Uh, actually, all the all the decimals would be 14.76195847. Okay. All right. And assuming I didn't, you know, copy one of the calculations down incorrectly, then you know, there's your standard deviation. I think I got them all right though. Uh, but the main thing is the procedure. Okay. It's easy to punch something in wrong on your calculator. But anyway, hopefully you get how to do this now. So, and hopefully it helped. Uh, give me a like, subscribe, share, and thanks for watching.